Hello, and welcome to Rocket Fuel, your daily update for everything that's happening in the Rocket Pool community. So today is September 17th, 16th, sorry, and i um, got a few updates for you today. Let's just go through what happened yesterday. So of course the merge happened yesterday, and everything went very smoothly. There were some issues with Nimbus and Besu, and it seems like a few others, but I'll share that information with you today. Um, Meek was the first person to get a proposal using Rocket Pool, um, and there was a pull out for the merge. I shared the canvas pixel art with you all and where it said whack whack attack, so that was really cool. Um, MEV was live and it was coming into the smoothing pool. Uh, the first smoothing block was obviously proposed, the smoothing pool block, and uh, Maso had an update with his meeting from Exodus. So let's get to today's stuff. So Joe's been really, really busy today. Um, good morning, afternoon, and evening. He says, node operators, I'd like to share a few updates. Missed attestations. So a lot of people have been complaining about missing small random amounts of attestations throughout the day, regardless of their nodes, how do I power and client choices. The client developer teams are aware of this. Here's an explanation from the Lighthouse team. This is happening more at the moment due to blocks being delayed and block verification taking longer across the board due to execution payload verification. More churn also creates demand for attestation block space leading to more attestations getting dropped entirely. Um, so there's some improvements to be made and things that need to be fixed. So things will improve over time, but this is just a consequence of the merge for now. So hopefully, you know, those teams are working around the clock and really like they're really busy and they're trying to get it all fixed. Also, in this post, in the same post earlier on in the day, so this is from noon central time, sorry, noon eastern time. I don't live in central anymore. Um, MEV boost update. So Flashbots published a new MEV boost image. So this was a required update because there were some issues with um, proposals being missed. If a certain kind of uh, deposit uh, was made in that so um there was a tag that was to be used in your um tui um node the tui the terminal user interface which is rocket pool service config um, and you could change the tag there to uh, the latest version however this was earlier on in the day version 1.3 so then 1.3.0 and then Five hours later, uh, nearly 5 p.m. Eastern, Joe said, Flashbots let us know they released an important fix to the new update they posted earlier today. This is a required update for all the MV Boost users because it fixed a problem that could cause you to miss a proposal if your block contains some new validated deposits. So again, then it went to version 1.3.1 and um, Joe gave the information. So then gave the information on how to do it. So run Rocket Pool service config, go to MEV Boost settings, change the container tag, to this version um, you have to restart it and then it will work so that was keeping Joe really busy today and thankfully it looked like it looks like we should be good now so let me just press Joe rules because Joe rules so um, let's move on to what's next Next, um, we had a discussion that was taking place about MEV participation. So yesterday, or just around the merge time, it was like around 40%, and it seems like it's gone up to 70% now. Let me see if there's latest data. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, so it seems like it's gone up to 70% now, which is really great, because um, I've been mentioning like moochers and leechers in the, in the recording for the last few days. So those are the people who are in the smoothing pool. However, they don't have their own MEV boost turned on and they're just kind of leeching off the people who do have the MEV boost turned on. And we did talk about the team potentially making um, some kind of like punishment for those people. Um, like if somebody wants to submit an RPIP for that, they're welcome to do that. I think they'd get a lot of support from people in the smoothing pool because um, like if you if you have some reason for not turning on your MEV boost, then get out of the smoothing pool, you know? Like, you shouldn't even be in there. Um, only the people who are comfortable with using uh, relays, whether that's, you know, the Flashbots relay with OFAC sanctioning or one of the blocks relays or whatever relay you like is available. Um, if you're not comfortable using those relays, then get out of the smoothing pool because 
um, don't drag down everybody else's returns because you're being selfish. So, yeah. <laughs> Sorry if that comes across a little bit strong. But, yeah, because of that, you know, there is still a drag on the on the APR. So it says MEV is... Maso says MEV is something on the order of 1% APR. So if half of the smoothing pool hasn't enabled an MEV, then that's a net 0.5% drop. So now it's closer to a 0.3% drop. 0.3% drop sounds like a 70% now, so it's close to 0.3%. So, you know, the, the closer that goes to a 0% drop, the better it is. So hopefully that will, of course, that will happen once the team makes using MEV boost mandatory. But at the moment, there's still a little bit of a lag on there. So that's definitely something to keep an eye on and looking forwards. Next, what we see is the kind of things go hand in hand here where the, the deposit pool is getting pretty good um, feedback and like pretty good usage these last few days. So these next kind of things kind of go hand in hand a little bit but let me talk about it here so if you look at the deposit pool what's happened is um on september 16th we had 462 eth in 131 deposits and on 15th we had 436 eth and 155 deposits so that number has definitely trend been trending upwards with some bigger deposits coming through and the number of deposits going up also so that's definitely a good sign um like you can see this one deposit here by um, 0x63, um, they deposited 190 ETH into the deposit pool, which was really good to see. Um, but that's that kind of thing has been happening a little bit these last few days. Now, you might be thinking, why is that happening? Well, that relates to this figure right here that you can see, which it says that the R ETH discount on the secondary market is 0.009%. So yesterday, this was actually at a premium for quite a while. And um, like for quite a few hours of the day, it wasn't a big premium, it was a small premium, but it just meant that um, minting RE through the staking contract, uh, deposit contract and deposit pool was actually better, it was like better for you than buying in the secondary market. So that kind of explains those numbers. So as soon as that discount goes away, you know, we can start expecting those bigger mints to come through, which we've been desperately waiting for. And with everything that's been happening with the market going up and down these last few days, that's kind of impacted the uptake of that as much as we wanted. So that's definitely something to keep an eye on these last these next few days and see if we can get this discount to turn into a premium on the secondary market. So then everybody resorts to um, the deposit pool being where they mint their ETH, which obviously will keep everything going in the rocket pool front. So that would be really great. Finally, I want to finish by talking about the smoothing pool. So the smoothing pool now has nearly 900 nodes, which is six over 60% of all rocket pool nodes are now in the smoothing pool, which is absolutely amazing to see. And we have 3000 mini pools now that we hit that target as well, which is just under 42%. So the money is coming in. We The smoothing pool had a couple of lucky blocks. And by lucky blocks, I mean like quite high yield blocks. There was one that was around um, 4.6 ETH, another that was like 1.6 ETH. So th that's definitely helped that number. Um, the returns are looking really good for the smoothing pool, especially if you're the kind of person who's only got one mini pool or two mini pools. Like it's not likely that you'll be getting um, a proposal every month. So, you know, your access to those uh, blocks is not high. But then through the smoothing pool, you can get the average of those blocks as if you were getting them. So it really helps smaller stakers and people with um, fewer mini pools. Uh, even going up to like, well, right now, according to Ken's research, as long as you have fewer than 3000 mini pools, it's still worth it for you to go into the smoothing pool. But I think um, there are a few whales who are holding off on uh, MEV boost becoming mandatory before they join, because until then, it acts as a small... Um, lag on their actual returns of course like i said if you are getting one or two a, one, a proposal every two or three months then it's still worth it i think to be in the min, uh, to be in a smoothing pool so i'm going to finish on that really great news right here with um, fantastic uptake for the smoothing pool and good returns already coming through 
um, the the sentiment in trading has been really bad uh, today and I guess yesterday as well and there's a lot of negativity around and people are kind of like sniping toward each other and I've seen arguments pop up and I'm hoping that it's just a case of you know some um, disappointment with the way the Ethereum price has reacted to the merge uh, however like that's that's the best case scenario if that's the case you know that they're only responding like that because um, hopefully with the price increasing then the the environment will in improve too I think what's happened is um, a lot of new people have joined the community and we kind of have to figure out like what how we want to set standards in the community and um, you know we kind of have to lead by example those of us who've been around for a while and like really thrived in this community like really need to um, step up now and like kind of be um, flag bearers of what we want the community to be but um, I'm just hoping that you know the it's all short term because of price action I just fear that well I guess if price goes down a lot then a lot of those people will probably leave and um, it'll be a lot quieter in the community again but um, that's something to keep an eye out as well like just to make sure that you know we're kind of presenting our best versions to the world because a lot of people are now looking at rocket pool you know we're getting to be a much more serious um, product or protocol in the ethereum ecosystem and i think you know we should keep that in mind when we're talking to each other on on discord or elsewhere on the internet but um like i said hopefully it's just a issue with the um, merge price being kind of anticlimactic but i guess we'll find out in a few days what what it's looking like or maybe a few weeks but on that kind of like sadish note i'm going to end i hope you all have a lovely weekend i'm going to um, go on a crypto meetup on sunday so there's a small chance i won't record an episode which will be the first episode i miss in over a month however i'm going to try my best to record an episode but like I said, there's a small chance that I won't be able to on Sunday, but um, I'll let you all know in the Rocket Fuel um, tab on on Discord, which is right here below trading. You can see it, Rocket Fuel. And if you go in there and say hi, then you might get a treat one day soon. But um, I'm going to leave it there. I know I've said that a few times already, but um, yeah, have a great weekend, everyone, and I'll see you soon. Bye.